Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for unit 6, day 1. Today's lesson is all about finding the area of a parallelogram. We are starting a new unit and in this unit we're going to be working with shapes and figures, finding their areas and volumes. Today's video is dedicated to Orlando in 6A. Hi Orlando. Also, I am still getting over my cough. It's almost gone but it's still here so for now I apologize if I cough in the video. I want you to underline this word right here. Parallelogram. And first we'll talk about what are parallel lines. They are lines that never touch. So for example, if I have this line right here, imagine it goes on forever. Another line that is parallel to this would be like this. These two lines are parallel because if I extend both of these lines on forever, they will never touch. Now you try. Imagine, draw a line that goes diagonally across like this. And I want you to draw a line that is parallel to that line. So draw another line that if you extend it forever, it will never touch. Okay, now let's check. You could have drawn it anywhere. I'm going to draw mine right here. And it should look something like that. Right? If you extend the two lines forever, they will never touch. So a parallelogram is, imagine if you have one set of parallel lines like this. These two lines are parallel. And another set of parallel lines, like this. All right, they really can be going in any direction, as long as both sets are parallel. And all of this area inside here, the shape that you make from this, right, that's your parallelogram. So notice how this shape kind of looks like this shape. Okay, so now we know what a parallelogram is. It's a, sh it's a shape with two sets of parallel lines. Here's how you find the area. First, let's talk about finding the area of a rectangle. We have our base, and we have our height. And the area is just the base times the height. For a parallelogram, we also have our base and the height of the parallelogram from the top of the parallelogram to the bottom draw a line, this is the height. Not this diagonal line here, but going straight from the top to the bottom, that's the height. Now let's take a look at this yellow parallelogram that I have here. Right, this bottom part's the base, the height, is the line that goes straight from the top to the bottom. That's the height. <coughs> Sorry. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut off this part of the parallelogram. Just like that. Okay, so my parallelogram was like this, and I cut off this triangle. And if I cut off this triangle, and I move it to the other side, and I reconnect it with the shape right here. What do I have now? Right now, my parallelogram, I have just rearranged it, and now it's just a rectangle again. Right? If you just take part of your parallelogram, 
and rearrange it, now it becomes a rectangle. So that means that the area of a parallelogram is the same as finding the area for a rectangle. So the area of the parallelogram is just the base times the height. Because a parallelogram is just like a rearranged rectangle. So we know that the area is the base, which is this, the height, which is the line that goes from the top to the bottom. Let's put this in action. <coughs> Use a ruler to measure the dimensions of each parallelogram and then calculate its area. We're going to round each length to the nearest centimeter. OK, parallelogram A, the base. That's this part right here. Take out our ruler, centimeter side. Okay, that is close to, but not exactly, seven centimeters. So we're going to round to the nearest centi centimeter. So my base is seven centimeters. My height. Remember, the height is not this diagonal line. It's if you measured straight from the top to the bottom. So this line's my height, not this one. OK, from the top to the bottom, it's pretty close to exactly 2 centimeters, right from here to here. There, so my height's going to be two centimeters. The area is the base times the height, so it's just seven centimeters times two centimeters. Seven times two is fourteen centimeters times centimeters is cent cent <coughs> sorry centimeters squared. So fourteen centimeters squared is the area of the parallelogram. For number two, let's draw our height line in. The height's going to be the distance from the top to the bottom. Now, using your ruler, I'm going to have you pause and try number two on your own. Measure it out. And check your work. So pause and try on your own. All right, now you are resuming the video to check your work. Remember, if you're not trying on your own, you're not challenging yourself to learn. This bottom part's the base. Let's measure the base. Okay, it's about three, a little bit more than three and a half. So I'm going to round this up to four centimeters. The height, which is the distance from the top to the bottom. Is also a little bit more than three and a half, so I'm going to say that the height is also four centimeters. Let's fill that out. Base is four centimeters. Height is four centimeters. The area, multiply the base times the height. Four times four is 16. Centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. 
All right, if you got that all on your own, three gold stars for you. Okay, the last one. I'm not going to do the last one. I want you to do that on your own. I'll give you a hint, though. The height line, remember, the height is the distance from the top to the bottom. So if I drew a line from the top all the way to the bottom, that's my height line. All right, when you're done, raise your hand, and I can check your work. There's no secret word today, so instead you can just draw a smiley face in the corner.